welcome to Steve Cook's episode six. Hooray! Um, we're doing something a little different. Say that every time. Uh, today we're going to be making salsa. So what I'm doing right now is I'm scoring the tomatoes, which doesn't unfortunately involve a score bar. Dang. I'm sorry, uh, but it does involve kind of slice them because we want the tomatoes to get kind of pulpy, and we want to peel them, we want to get the skin off, and all that fun stuff. Tomatoes. Tomatoes! So in just a moment, we're going to throw them into boiling water for like less than a minute. And, uh, and then we're going to take them out, rinse them in ice water, and see if we can get these peels off and how many tomatoes make it out in one piece. Uh, let's see. At least half. I bought these two banana pepper plants, and literally for a couple weeks they weren't doing anything. I continued to water them, they stayed a bit healthy, and then uh, within like a week, literally boom, this happened. And look, she's not done yet, boys. She's grown. So let's grab a couple of these. These bad boys. How do you like that? That's organic, folks. <laughs> you dropped it. Yeah, it's funny. I guess I'll get stubby too. I came up for lazy. I'm actually surprised birds haven't been after this. Let's go get the next bunch. Uh, this was the first one I bought. This, uh, it just says, this is silly. It just says hot pepper. Tells you nothing. Um, through some uh, extensive Wikipedia research, uh, I think I've determined these are just standard chili peppers. These things grow, grew like weeds. I've actually already removed a couple, uh, and Nate and I actually tried one much to, uh, well, certainly much to my pain. Very hot. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be good times. But yeah, no, these have been growing like weeds too. The plants have been absorbing water left, right, and center, and she's not done yet. Come on. Ah! Yeah, trust me, this is killer. And I'm gonna leave this one to grow. And these little guys. And this is the jalapeno plant, who was literally doing nothing and then just kind of barfed this jalapeno up. And actually, it looks like the plant can't even support its own fruit. I don't even know if it's gonna grow another one. I'm kind of depressed. Jalapeno. So, here's our medley of peppers and whatnot. And uh, let's go take a look at our other ingredients. Uh, Alright, so um, this is cilantro. We're gonna be adding it, and I'm gonna be trying to dice it very finely. And uh, I've never done this before. What do you think? Uh, I think you should do that one more time. There you go. Yeah. Cilantro! Ah, oh, dear. Let's start. Let's start with uh, our chili pepper. I have, Nate and I did share one that was basically just like this. Nate was like, oh, it's fine, whatever, man. I was in serious pain. Uh, now, the uh, the recipe that I've got says to de-seed them. Um, let me cut them in half and see the situation. I guess because the seeds provide most of the heat. I guess that's what the recipe calls for, so I'm gonna kind of split her down the middle. Ooh, fun. Now, technically, would you believe that technically peppers are berries? I believe it. They're technically berries. Ah, come on, frickin'. Get out. Damn. Get out. Get out! Can I have one? You do not want one. Yes, I do. No, Very you don't. Very spicy. Very spicy. Very spicy. No, they're oh, this, very, this spicy. very spicy. It's very spicy. I am dicing this uber fine. Don't I want therapy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, have some salt. Should we use uh, the elf shoe? Should we use um, the 
dinky one, or the horribly malformed lumpy one? That one! Lumpy! <laughs> Yay, lumpy! First, first off, uh, while, I'm, while I'm slicing this, here, Nate! Eat this, please. Tell me, tell me how it is. You're just giving me a random pepper? Is Not a random one, it's a banana pepper. Crunch. What's it taste like? I've only ever eaten pickled ones. A little bitter. Um, not spicy at all. Really? But I kind of got like this. Well, if you're not used to spicy foods, then it will be like a little spicy. But even then, like Daniel could tolerate it. Wow. And he cries at pepper. Hey, that was, I was like seven. The odd jalapeno. Okay. Do we only have one jalapeno? Yeah. That's yeah, so the only one that'll grow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it to try it. Slice me a ring. Slice me a ring. Yeah, I'll slice. Slice Nate Dog a ring. Nate Dog. Nate Dog. Nate Dog. And Nate Dog. Alright. He's trying the ring of jalapeno. And Nate. <laughs> is enjoying it a little more than he should. <laughs> it starts off kind of spicy. And then it gets more spicy. <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's, it's not too bad. I think actually the chili pepper was uh, more powerful. So, the water is boiling. I have, of course, my, my recipe. I got this recipe off of allrecipes.com. And again, oh, one. on the back of a receipt. Um, so, we're going to be sticking the, the tomatoes in now. The boiling water. Me and boiling water, folks. It's dangerous. Maybe I should... Thanks, Doug. Maybe I should test it with one. See how long it takes before I start doing a bottom mouse. What do you think about that? Sure thing. Oh, look at it, just... It's kind of doing its thing. Come on! Do it! It's chillin'. Do it! Do you love tomatoes, Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Here, move, please. Move, please. Move, please. Move, please. Let me try it now because I'm seeing, like... Things happen. Oh yeah, it's splitting. So let's see what happens with this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, and Daniel's there in a flash. Sort of you have a watch tan. I do have a watch. Oh look at this! Look at this! Look! Off she comes. Off she comes. Just, just like that. Watch huh? tan. Have you ever seen this before, Daniel? I've Be never honest. Seen a watch tan this great yeah, yeah, before. <laughs> So this is referred right. to as as blanching, even though it has nothing to do with the color or with white, I guess. Um, look at that. This is this is glorious. These are all the tomato skins. All right, um, here. Uh, Daniel has uh, Daniel has agreed to uh, to uh, eat the freaking hell. Where's the salt? Here we go. Here we go, sorry. Daniel has uh, agreed to eat all the tomato skins as quickly as he can. Back up a bit, Daniel. Oh, uh, my fork? No, just handsing it. Oh, uh, that's what I thought you were gonna do. Uh, eat, eat, eat. How was that, Daniel? Confusing. Confusing? It was in boiling water, so there's some heat. But then it was also in the cold water, so it's like bits of hot and cold. Right on. And this is this is the interesting thing. So after I've peeled them, I'm now supposed to chop them up, and then I'm actually supposed to let this stop boiling, and then uh, I put them back in here. Um, okay, again. So uh, we make sure that they're totally covered with water. We start at normal temperature and then we set it to boil. So after they're chopped, the water starts to boil with them, with them, uh, with them in it. And then as soon as it boils, we turn it down to a simmer temperature. So what I'm guessing this is doing is it's is it's totally changing the consistency of the, the diced tomatoes. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Otherwise, this is just totally pointless. They're wasting my time. Uh, let's let's get to boiling. Well, let's start. Ugh. Ah, ah. That's interesting. What is? Oh, it's just the... It's actually kind of tough. Well, that it's is... Because tomatoes are not. Yeah, it's just... 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 Yeah, it's just
generally. Not raw tomatoes. Ah! So again, we're not bringing that to boil yet. We'll be, we'll be bringing it to boil once the tomatoes are in. Um, the thing is, I don't know if I want to lose the juices though, right? Mm. I've always had a problem with slicing tomatoes. I don't know. Do you have this problem? No, no. Well, I'm pro. Is that Ian? There's, yes. What the hell is Ian doing there's, here? There's seventy dollars out there. Are there really? Yes. What the hell is Ian doing here? He wants her salsa. <laughs> what? He, what? He wants the salsa. Is that, is that why he's here? He's here for the salsa? He's here for the salsa. He can't, he can't have any. I'm <laughs> sick of this. Freaking guy. Ever since, ever since that freaking... I'm sick of his sass. Ever since that freaking lamb episode, I, it's, he, God, guy is, is freaking harassing me. He's like, why can't I have any crap? When do I get to be a judge again and make fun of you? Well, that's why he's here. That's why he's here. Well, you know what? I'm not having any of it. If he wants to have some of my salsa, I'll tell him to go to hell. I will tell him that he can choke on it. And he can he can die. Die in hell itself. He, I, he would die and go to hell. I'm going to send him to hell, and I, then he can die. I don't know if he wanted the salsa. I was just... You, no, you know what? He does. That. I know he does. That's why he's here. Yeah. Um, Is it, you see, do you think he actually came up to talk to Nate? <laughs> like a good boy. No. No. <laughs> Would you come up to talk to Nate? No. Jeez. The only thing Nate is good for is making fun of. That's why we get him to do stuff like like eat hot peppers and stuff in front of camera because then we can laugh about him later. And take fat kid in our YouTube. You know, yes, and yes, and then in our YouTube account we can type things like fat kid eats and stuff, <laughs> hoping that it'll raise our profile. Uh, you know, hopefully more people watch the video because they're like, hey, anyone watch the fat kid eat crab? <laughs> yeah. yeah! Exploitation. Oh, hell yeah, it's exploitation, but if anyone deserves it, <laughs> it's Nate. Just going out there and saying Fat kid messy? <laughs> no, look, every video with a fat kid in it has the subtitle, Fat Kid Messy. <laughs> So even the one with the, with the fat kids pretend to be Steve Irwin and gets shot by the paintballs. You can type in fat kid messy, no one would disagree with this. Everyone's like, yeah, that fat kid is a slob. Deserves to get shot for being so messy. We should put fat kid messy in the text. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We, actually, we will. Mark my words, this video, if you look down right now, like you can pause this video, just look down into our tag section, first three tags will be fat kid messy. <laughs> Will Nate be making a mess? <laughs> Doubtful. Is Nate really that fast? Hmm, that's up in the air. Yeah, man. Uh, but he's messy. <laughs> he's definitely, definitely messy. And he's gonna, he's gonna demolish the salsa. Here is what we're doing. We've peeled the tomatoes. We've chopped the tomatoes. They're going in the pot. The pot's not boiling yet. The pot has to have enough water to cover the tomatoes. I think I went a bit overboard with the water. Whatever. Oh Whatever. Uh, now, the only room solution temperature. for extra water is extra tomatoes. Uh, yeah, right. Um, now we're gonna boil the water. And did I already talk about this? This next step here, boiling the water and then cooling it. Mm, no. Well, I'm gonna boil it, and then as soon as as soon as it gets to boiling, uh, then I'm gonna turn around and turn the temperature down to simmer. And this is so it's probably something happens to the texture. Probably the tomatoes become less consistent in one mush. That is my that's my sauce. My guess. It's probably why I removed the, the skins as well. It's hard to have mush when you're you know when you got a skin on. While that's happening, in the saucepan we're gonna boil some water. So we're gonna boil more water, and uh, when that's boiled, we're gonna add all this stuff. So again, here's. Here's green pepper, here's cilantro, which comes later. So, sorry, ignore what I said about the cilantro. We'll be boiling the green pepper, the onions, these, and these peppers. And we're gonna boil them for about 15 minutes until they're tender, basically. And that's what we're gonna do with those ones. And, uh, I added too much water. Um, I gotta give her some of this water. <laughs> 